688 and we are at revision headword go bad okay so let's start here we go okay. how do we know when food has gone bad how do we know when food has gone bad we know we when know. food has when food gone bad has gone bad because its appearance because its appearance has often changed has often changed and it has a nasty and, smell and it has a nasty, a nasty smell. smell very good what's an expert what's an expert an expert an expert is someone is someone with a very high level with a very high level of knowledge or skill of knowledge or skill in a particular area in a particular area where are doctors legal experts are doctors legal experts no no doctors aren't Do doctors aren't legal experts legal experts. they are medical experts they are medical experts lawyers are legal experts lawyers are legal experts very good what am i doing what am i doing you're switching you're switching the light on the light on what am i doing what am i doing you're switching you're switching the light off the light off very good what do we mean by a preparatory it what do we mean by a preparatory it by a preparatory by a it preparatory it we mean that we mean we that. use the word it we use the word it. at the beginning of a sentence at the beginning of the to sentence. prepare us for to information us for information that comes later that comes later in the sentence in the sentence give me some examples give me some examples please it is very difficult it is very difficult to understand to understand what he says what he says was it usual what is usual oh, was it usual was it usual for him to come here for him to come every here. sunday every sunday it's rare to see it's rare to see that kind of bird that kind of in this bird part of the country of the country very good is it easy to learn to speak english as well as an english person is it easy to learn to speak English as well as an English person? No, it no. isn't easy. It isn't to easy to speak English to speak as well English as an as English well person. An English person. Wait, is it common in your country for people to eat a cooked breakfast in the morning? Is it common in your country for people to eat a cooked breakfast in the morning? Yes or no? Yes. It's common in my it's country. Common in my country for people to eat for people to eat a cook breakfast in the morning a cook breakfast in the morning very good okay have you determined what you're going to do for your next holidays have you determined what you're going to do for your next holidays yes or no yes i've determined i've determined what i'm going to do what i'm going to do for my next holidays for my next holidays. Wait, well, what have you determined to do? What have you determined to do? I have determined. I have determined to go to Okinawa. To go to Okinawa. Very good. When you start to do something like learning a language, are you usually determined to continue to the end, even though what you have started is extremely difficult? When you start to do something like learning a language, are you usually determined to continue to the end, even though what you have started is extremely difficult? Yes, when I yes. start to do when something, I start to do something like learning a language, like learning a I'm language, I'm usually determined. I'm usually determined to continue to the end. To continue to the even end. though, even though what I have started, what I have started is extremely difficult. Is ex extremely difficult very good who's the most determined person you know or have ever met who's the most determined person you know or have ever met the most determined the most person i know determined person i know is my boss is my boss very good 
for success in life generally, which do you think is more important than anything else? The determination to succeed, luck, hard work, or intelligence? For success in life generally, which do you think is more pleasant or important than anything else? The determination to succeed, luck, hard work, or intelligence? For success in life. For success in generally, life. Generally. I think. I think. Hard work. Is more important. Is more important. Than anything else. Than anything else. Very good. What are the three forms of steel? What are the three forms of steel? The three forms. The three forms. Of steel. Of steel. Are steel stole, stolen. A steel stole stolen. Well, if someone steals your umbrella, does that mean you have the right to steal someone else's? If someone steals your umbrella, does that mean you have the right to steal someone else's? No. No. If someone steals, if someone steals my umbrella, my umbrella, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I have the right to steal. I have right to steal someone else's. Someone else's. Very good. If someone stole something from a shop and was caught doing so, what did probably happen? If someone stole something from a shop and was caught doing so, what did probably happen? If someone stole something. If if someone stole something from a shop. From a shop. And was caught doing so. Uh, and was caught doing so. The owner of the shop. The owner of the shop. Would probably call the police. Would probably call the police. Wait, have you ever had anything stolen from you while on holiday? Have you ever had anything stolen from you while on holiday? Yes or no? No. I've never had. I've never had anything stolen from anything me. Anything stolen from me while on holiday. While on holiday. Very good. Would you say you were a rather active kind of person? Would you say you were a rather active kind of person? Yes or no? No. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. I was a rather. I was a rather. Active kind of person. Active kind of person. What kind of activities interest you most of all? What kind of activities interest you most of all? The kind of activities. The kind of activities. That interest me. That interest me. Most of all. Me. Most of all are, are what? What interests you? Reading oh. manga, watching anime. Ah, uh, read, reading manga, and watching anime, and watching anime. Ah, uh, all anime related. Very good again. Next. <laughs> Supposing a group of foreign students came to stay with you for the weekend, what would you organize for them? Supposing a group of foreign students came to stay with you for the weekend. What would you organize for them? Supposing a group Supposing of foreign students, a group of foreign students came to stay with me, came for to the weekend. Stay with me for the weekend. I'd organize. I'd organize a party, a, su a sushi party for them. A sushi party for them. Uh, include me again. Are you good at <laughs> organizing things? Are you good at organizing things? Yes or no? Yes, I'm good at. I'm good at organizing things. Organizing things. Very good. Okay, so that's the end of revision. Let's start new word. Okay, so repeat gift. If gift 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 even if even if. Very good. Okay, listen. The word gift is a noun. The word gift means the same as present. For example. The kind of gift I'd give a boy of 15 would be a football, a bicycle, etc. Another meaning of gift is special ability to do something. For example, if we say that someone has a gift for languages, we mean that they have a natural ability to learn languages. The words even if is the same meaning as saying although or despite the fact that. For example, I think you should always accept a gift from a friend, even if you don't like what they have chosen. So let's practice. What kind of gift would you give a boy of 15? What kind of gift would you give a boy of 15? The kind of gift. The kind of gift. I give a boy. I give a boy. Of 15 would be. 
of 15 upi. A football? A football? PlayStation 5? <laughs> PlayStation 5? Etc. Etc. Et yeah, I'll, I'll give myself PlayStation 5. Okay. <laughs> Next. Do you, do you think you should always accept a gift from a friend even if you don't like what they have chosen? Do you think you should always accept a gift from a friend even if you don't like what they have chosen? Yes or no? Even yes. If you, I think you should. I think you always should. Always accept. Always accept. A gift from a friend. A gift from a friend. Even if you don't like. Even if you don't what like. What they have chosen. What they have chosen. What do we mean if we say that someone has a gift for languages? What do we mean if we say that someone has a gift for languages? If we say if that we someone say has that someone a has gift for languages, a gift for languages, we mean that we mean that they have a natural ability. They have a natural ability to learn languages. To learn languages. Very good. Okay. Next, repeat. Steam. 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 Very good. Okay. The word steam is a noun. Steam is produced by boiling water. Let's practice. How's steam produced? How steam produced? Steams produced. Steams produced. By boiling water. By boiling water. Very good. Okay. Next word is oppose. Oppose. Very good. Okay. Listen. The word oppose is a verb. It means to disagree. For example, when I wanted to do something as a child and my parents opposed my plans, I follow my parents. Let's practice. When you wanted to do something as a child and your parents opposed your plans, what did you do? When you wanted to do something as a child and your parents opposed your plans, what did you do? When I wanted, when I wanted to do something as a child, as a child and my parents and my parents opposed my plans. Opposed my plans. I, 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 I. Do you follow them or cry? do I cry very good. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, next repeat. Seat. Like mm -hmm. like a chair. Seat. 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 Stool. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, listen. The word seat and stool are nouns. A seat is anything that we sit on, for example, in a car, in a cinema, or in a bus. The difference between a chair and a stool is that a stool doesn't have a backrest. Okay, you can't rest your back on a stool. For example, when booking a flight, a passenger is usually able to choose a specific seat on the aeroplane. The average bus seats about 25 passengers. A chair is normally more comfortable than a stool. The word seat also means a place where the people who run the government, religion, etc. are based. For example, the seat of government in my country is in Malacanang Palace in Manila. Let's practice. What's a seat? What's a seat? A seat. A seat. If anything, is anything that we sit on that we sit on where when booking a flight is a passenger usually able to choose a specific seat on the airplane when booking a flight is a passenger usually able to choose a specific seat on the airplane yes when yes. booking a flight when booking a flight a passenger is usually, a passenger is usually able to choose able to choose a specific seat a specific seat on the airplane on the airplane which type of seat is normally more comfortable a chair or a stool which type of seat is normally more comfortable a chair or a stool a chair a chair is normally is normally more comfortable more comfortable than a stool than a stool why why because a stool because a stool has no backrest has no Backrest. Where about how many passengers does the average bus seat? About how many passengers does the average bus seat? The average bus. The average bus. Seats about. Seats about. How many? 20, how many 30, are, 40? 
40 passengers. passengers. Right. Where's the gov- where's the seat of government in your country? Where's the seat of government in your country? The seat of government. The seat of government. In my country. In my country. Is in Tokyo. Is in Tokyo. Very good. So your prime minister is there. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next. Get on somebody's nerve. Get on some somebody's nerves. Very good. Okay, listen. Get on somebody's nerves mean, it's an idiom, it means to irritate somebody, to make somebody angry. For example, the noise those children make gets on my nerve, so it makes me angry or irritated. I find that things get on my nerves more easily when I'm hungry. Hmm. Let's practice. Do you find that things get on your nerves more easily when you're hungry? Do you find that things get on your nerves more easily when you're hungry? Yes or no? Do you get yes, sir. Yeah? I find yes, that things I find that things get on my nerves gets on my nerves more easily, more easily when I'm hungry. When I'm hungry. Uh, so you're dangerous when you're hungry. Okay. <laughs> Give me another example of the idiom get on somebody's nerves. Give me another example of the idiom get on somebody's nerves, please. The noise those the noise. children make <coughs> those <coughs> sorry those children make gets on my nerve. Gets on my nerves. Very good. Next repeat score. Score. Play at home. Play at home. Play away. Play away. Point. Point. Table tennis. Table tennis. Goal. Goal. Very good. Okay, listen. The word score is a verb. It means to get points or make a goal or home runs, etc. in a game or contest. Play at home means to play in a team's own stadium, park, or in the place where a team is based. Play away means to play a match at an opponent's ground or stadium, different prefecture or different country. For example, the reason a football team playing at home usually scores more goals than when playing away is that players are surrounded by their home fans who encourage them by shouting and singing. Point, the word point, table tennis, and goal are all nouns. Point means a unit that is used to score a game or a contest. Table tennis is a game in which players stand on opposite end of the table and use wooden paddles to hit a small plastic ball to each other across a net. For example, one needs to score 11 or 21 points to win a game of table tennis. The word goal is an area or object into which the ball must be hit, kick, shoot, etc. to score points in a game like football. The word goal also means something that you are trying to do or achieve, like your life goal. For example, I'd say my main goal in life at the moment was to buy a, ho- a house. I think I'll achieve that goal by working hard. Let's practice. Why is it that a football team playing at home usually score more goals than when playing away? Why is it that a football team playing at home usually score more goals than when playing away? The reason. The reason. A football team playing a football at team home playing usually at scores. More goals scores more than when goals playing than away. When playing away is that the players is that the players are surrounded, are surrounded by their fan by their home fans by their home fans who encourage them who encourage them by shouting and singing by shouting and singing. Wait, how many points does one need to score to win a game of table tennis? How many points does one need to score to win a game of table tennis? One needs to score. One needs to score. 11. 11. Or 21 points. Or 21 points. To win a game to of win table a game tennis. Of table tennis. Wait, what would you say was your main goal in life at the moment? What would you say was your main goal in life at the moment? I'd say. I'd say. My main goal in life. My my main goal in life at the moment at the moment was to was to was to speak fluently 
Oh, oh, yeah. Speak fluently in English. In English. Very good. When do you think you'll achieve that goal? When do you think you'll achieve that goal? I think. I think. I'll achieve that goal. I'll achieve that goal. In six months' time. In six months' time. Very good. Okay, next, repeat. Kit. Uh, with, the kit. Letter, with the letter K. Kit. K. Kit. Like that. Kit. Rocket. Rocket. Very good. Okay, listen. The word kit is a noun. It means clothing or equipment used for a particular purpose, like a medical kit that, medical or a kit. camping kit. For example, a sport that one needs very little kit for is football. So all you need is a shoe, a ball, a goal. The word rocket is a noun. It is a piece of sports equipment that is used to hit a ball or other object in game like badminton and tennis for example <laughs> to play tennis one needs a racket some tennis balls and a pair of trainers let's practice name a sport that one needs very little kit for name a sport that one needs very little kit for a sport a sport that one needs that one very needs little kit for very little kit is kit football for. Is football. What kit does one need to play tennis? What kit does one need to play tennis? To play tennis. To play tennis. One needed a racket. One one needed a racket. Some tennis balls. Some tennis balls. And a pair of trainers. And a pair of trainers. Very good. Next repeat. I think so. I think so. I hope not. I hope not. Very good. Okay, listen. We can use the word so and not to avoid repeating a whole sentence that someone has just said. For example, is it right what James said? If someone asks, is it right what James said? You can say, I'm afraid so. I hope so. Or I suppose so. We can also say, I think so. I guess so. Instead of saying, I'm afraid that is what James said. So we just say so. The same is true, or the same is the same is true for the word not. For example, is it right what James said? I'm afraid not. I hope not. I suppose not. I guess not. Instead of saying I guess that's right, that's what he said. Okay, so let's practice. Why do we use the word so and not when replying to something that someone has just said? Why do we use the word so and not when replying to something that someone has just said? We use the word use so and not. The word so and not. When replying to something. When replying something. That someone has just that, said. That someone has just said. To avoid repeating. To avoid repeating. The whole sentence. The whole sentence. Very good. Give me some examples of this use of the word so. Give me some examples of this use of the word so, please. Is that right? Is that right? What James said? What James said? I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so. I hope so. I hope so. I suppose so. I suppose so. I think so. I think so. I guess so. I guess so. Right. And now give me some examples of not. Give me some examples of not, please. Is that right? Is that right? What James said? What James said? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid. I hope not. 